A simple pendulum oscillating in air has a time period of 3 seconds. Okay. There is a simple pendulum whose time period is root 3 seconds. Okay. If it is completely immersed in a non-viscous liquid having density, one fourth of the density of material of the bob, the new period will be. Okay. <coughs> now when the bob, excuse me, when the bob is immersed in a liquid, weight of the bob acts downwards and the buoyant force up thrust acts upwards. Now the effective weight would be mg dash, <coughs> excuse me, let's assume the density of a liquid to be rho and density of bob to be sigma. Effective weight would be weight minus buoyant force. Okay. Now weight is actually volume of the bob multiplied by density of liquid, it is immersed in liquid into G. Point force is volume of bob, density of liquid into G, right? We'll take common, V sigma G common. This is one minus rho divided by sigma, mg dash. Volume of bob multiplied by density of bob is actually the mass of the bob. So effective G here is one minus rho divided by sigma. It is given that liquid has the density one fourth as that of material. So rho is sigma by four here. And obviously rho by sigma is one by four dear students. So this is coming out to be three G by four. Now initially the time period was is actually two pi root L by G, which is given to be root three. In the liquid, the time period is two pi under root L. Effective value of G is three G by four. Okay. When 4, uh, square root of 4 would be 2 outside the root. Now, this t dash is actually, uh, let me erase few parts. Now, this t dash would be, you know, 2 pi root L by G, 2 pi root L by G, multiplied by 2 by root 3. Okay, this is root 3, dear students. This is 2 by root 3. We are getting the final answer as 2 seconds. Okay. So definitely option 3 is the correct one dear students. Right. The two dimensional motion of a particle described by the position vector of the particle is you know. It is i cap plus twice of j cap a cos of omega t. Okay is an okay is a parabolic path okay elliptical path right and periodic motion definitely it will be a periodic motion dear students whenever a motion contains whenever the uh, the position the equation of position vector or uh, the equation of instantaneous displacement contains sine theta or cos theta it will be a periodic function okay let us check the options we have option C as the correct one in all the options. Okay, nicely designed. Now D is simple harmonic motion. Let us check whether uh, it, it represents a SHM or not. For SHM, we know that the acceleration must be proportional to negative of displacement. Here it should be R, position vector. Okay, so we'll differentiate R. We'll get velocity. Velocity would be I cap plus twice of J cap a derivative of cos is minus sine dear students derivative of omega t is omega now differentiate velocity again you will get acceleration it would be i cap plus twice of j cap into a derivative of sine would be cos now derivative of omega t would be omega square now definitely definitely dear students this whole thing i cap plus j cap into cos okay into this a this whole thing becomes r vector okay so i can clearly write acceleration as minus of omega square into r vector which is the condition for shm it is a condition for shm dear students 
I can say that option C and D are correct. Okay, so, so I rule out the possibility of this option. Okay, we have C and D in the three options. We'll have to check for A and B also. Okay, uh, kindly note down dear students. Okay, now the R vector is I cap A cos of omega t or let me write this as A cos of omega t I cap plus 2A cos of omega t J cap dear students. Okay, now, now I can write the position vector as x i cap plus y j cap which would be a cos of omega t i cap plus twice of a again cos of omega t j cap dear students right so x is a cos omega t and y is 2a cos omega t indeed x is equal to x is equal to a cos of omega t and y is equal to 2a cos of omega t okay and uh, if you eliminate time from here you will get y is equal to a cos omega t is x y is equal to 2x which is actually a straight line it is neither a parabola it is neither a parabola nor an ellipse okay so only option c and d are correct that means option 4 is chosen as the right option dear students The restoring force of a spring with a block attached to the force and free of the end is represented by. So spring force is given by minus kx. So it's a straight line with negative slope. So out of these, these two are not straight lines. This is a straight line, but it has a positive slope. This has a negative slope, hence it's true. Fourth option. The xt graph of a particle performing simple harmonic motion is shown in the figure. The acceleration of the particle at t equal to 2 seconds is. First of all, let us write the uh, equation for the instantaneous displacement of the particle. x is equal to a sin omega t since the graph resembles the sine curve. Amplitude is going to be 1 sin omega is 2 pi by capital T multiplied by small t. Capital T is the time period which is 8 seconds here. So this is coming out to be sine 2 pi by 8 into small t. Value of x is coming out to be sine pi by 4 into small t. Now you differentiate these two values. Uh, this is this value. You will get the instantaneous velocity. Velocity is actually derivative of sine is cos. First we differentiate the function. Derivative of sine is cos. Then we differentiate the angle. Derivative of pi by 4t would be only pi by 4. Now you differentiate the velocity again with respect to time you're going to get the acceleration so pi by 4 is here you first differentiate the function then differentiate the angle derivative of cos would be minus sine and derivative of angle would be pi by 4 we are getting this acceleration as minus pi square by 16 sine of indeed pi by 4t we are asked to calculate the acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds. Let us substitute the value of small t as 2 seconds. Acceleration is minus pi square by 16 sine pi by 4 into 2. Sine pi by 2 is 1. Acceleration is minus pi square by 16 meter per second squared year students. Do we have an option here? Yes, we have option minus pi square by 16 meter per second square. Option 1 is chosen as the correct one dear students. If T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5 represent the tension in the string of a simple pendulum, when Bob is at the uh, left extreme, okay, left extreme, right extreme, T1 is the tension in the Bob when Bob is at left extreme, okay, and T2 is when the Bob is at right extreme, right, okay 
T3 is when the bob is at mean position. Okay, T3 is when the bob is at mean position. And any intermediate left and right points T4, T5. Okay, this is T4. This is another point T5, right? Okay. Then which of the following relations are correct? Okay. Right. Now you know that dear students. If it is moving with some velocity V, this is tension, this is mg. Okay. Now, now this T minus mg at the lowermost point would be equal to mv square by L, right? Now T would be mg plus mv square by L, dear students, right? Whereas at this is, uh, dear student, this is actually T3, okay, at the bottom most point, right? mean position. Now, uh, if the pendulum at an instant is making some angle theta, now in this case, this is tension is T, this is mg, now this is mg cos theta, if the velocity is V, so T minus mg cos theta is equal to mv square by R, okay, mv square by L. Now tension at some intermediate point would actually be mg cos theta plus mv square by L. Now note one important thing at the bottom most point see we are not we are having the value of cos theta as 1 at the bottom most point theta is 0 degree okay cos 0 is 1. So mg is maximum this part is maximum also the velocity of the bob at the bottom most point is maximum kinetic energy is maximum potential energy is minimum okay. So uh, T3 would have the maximum value okay. This is true, B of B statement is true that T3 is greater than 2, okay, T3 is greater than 2, T2, this is true. T3 is not equal to T4, dear students. T4 cannot be equal to T3, uh, cannot be greater than T3. C and D are incorrect. Okay, all the options which have C or D are incorrect, right. Now T1 is equal to T2, yes. See, at, at one of the extreme position, either it is left or it is right, just because of symmetry, T1 and T2 would be same, okay. Just because of symmetry, T1 and T2 would be same. Assuming theta is same and uh, V would be same at the extreme position. Momentarily, they will come to rest, okay, at extreme positions. So definitely, dear students, through simple elimination, we get A, B, E and the uh, as the correct one. T5 would be greater than T2. Why it would be greater than T2? Uh, because uh, as we are moving towards the extreme position, theta is also increasing. That means cos theta is decreasing and also the velocity of the bob is decreasing so tension is decreasing as we are moving from mean position to the extreme position